Okay, this video has been very highly requested, and I don't want to call it like a crap products video just because I feel like that sounds so negative. These are products that were misses for me. These are products that I did not enjoy, that I did not like, they didn't work for me. That's it, okay? Um, remember, this is just my opinion. I think some of these products might even be like other people's holy grail products, but for me, they just didn't work out. So I will go ahead and jump right in with some products that I just didn't really, that were misses for me. Okay, no more disclaimers. These are the products I didn't like. The first one was this Revlon Colorstay Aqua Mineralized Finishing Powder. I bought this at clearance at CVS and I haven't really done a lot with it because it is the weirdest thing y'all. The powder feels wet. I think these are the ones that's like infused with like coconut water or something. Oh, it feels wet. It's the weirdest thing. I think if you had really dry skin, this might actually be kind of a cool product for you because it wouldn't be a really drying powder. But if you're oily skin, it's just weird. So didn't love that. The next item was this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color. Um, these are out right now, um, and they like are supposed to give you like eight hours wear or something. But that's just because it's super like stains and dries out your lips. This is in the color Iris. I was rich. Um, and I'll kind of swatch it for you can see it's just this really pretty like berry color but when it goes on your lips it just settles right in and dries them out so badly so I was not a big fan of that this next product is from elf and it's their tinted moisturizer and I've heard some people have good opinions about this I got this in the color beige I think um, it was just weird it didn't blend out it, it made my face like super oily didn't work for me and a lot of these like they're a buck guys I test them to see if I like it and I don't but it's no big deal because I'm out a dollar so you're probably thinking like of course Kayla you bought really cheap makeup and maybe there's and you're surprised you don't like it but you know it's all an experiment I'm just letting you guys know what didn't work for me so what this one was the elf shimmer eyeliner pencil and it's just the white pencil that comes with like a little sharpener um, it's just like super not like you have to like go a bunch to be able to see it um, just didn't really work for me. I was trying to put it like on my eye, but you have to tug so that it'll like rip your eye off trying to get it on. So that wasn't gonna work. The next one also was an e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. Now I love some eyeliner pens. I swear by them. Um, this one just, it has a really, really, really nice like super fine tip. But the reason I didn't like it was the same reason as the others. Well, actually swatched well. So maybe it's just been sitting, but um, Dang, it went on so well, but I promise it was terrible and I was trying to put it on. It was like really tugging. So I think once it like sits for a really long time and it gets like ink in the tip, it works. But after that, it was really hard to get it to like go on my eye smoothly. Another thing that I was disappointed with staying with eyeliner, which this is going to be a shocker because I know this has cult following, but it is the Maybelline Lime Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm using this because I want to use it up, but I don't really like it. It has this like felt brush you can see it's that bottom one the reason I don't like this is because it's not like a true black I have to put it on my eyelid and I usually have to do like three or four coats before it's really black it's kind of like a dark green um, and the tip of the brush is way too wide like do a really good wing with but I've read a lot about this and other people love it so there is a chance I got a bad batch of it because I know some people swear by it another thing that I did not like was this Maybelline eye studio gel liner um, again, a lot of people really love this. I just did not have a lot of success with it. I found it to be super dry. Don't know if I got a bad batch of it and I couldn't really get it on my brush to do much with it and it was clumpy and dry and just bad news bears. Another one was this, these two I dislike for the same reason and it's probably me, but it's one, the first one is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyelid Primer. I got this in a, like a, like a $20 variety pack kind of thing. And the next is the Dream, Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer and you can actually see I've used quite a bit because I didn't realize for a long time what was happening but these just burn my face this eyelid primer what I put on my eyelids like light on fire and this dream Lumi, I just like for the same reason because when I get it under my under eye area it really burns so again that could be like my sensitivity but those didn't work for me another thing was this ulta voluptuous volume mascara um, I didn't pay for this luckily I just got it in like a free bag, you know, when you buy X amount of dollars or something. I got like a little Ulta bag. Um, so I wasn't too upset about it, but it was super like a wet mascara that smeared everywhere. It just got all over my face. I think I only tried it once and I didn't, didn't try it again. Another thing was this um, Maybelline Shine Free Pressed Powder. And I got this in the color Ivory. And the reason that I disliked this powder was because I used it for a while. <laughs> 
I'm so funny. I didn't like it, but I hit pan on it. I bought this a long time ago, and I would just kind of put it on, and then I just hated it, and so I kept it in my purse for a while to, like, touch up my nose when I was oily, but because it wasn't translucent, it was ivory, it had, like, a color, so it was super white. It's a really chalky powder, which is why I dislike it. It's really, like, not a smooth, fine milled, like, nice powder, so I don't really enjoy it. Another thing that I dislike, which this Hard Candy Lip Balm. I don't know if they still sell this because I know Hard Candy just like redid all of their stuff, but I bought it not too long ago. But the reason I didn't like it, I'll show you guys, it's terrible packaging. So it's your, it's your balm like this, but when you lift it, this much of the product stays out of the tube all the time. Like it's rolled all the way down, but see, so you can see it's like breaks every two seconds because you put it on or because you touch it like you can't protect it and roll it down in the tube um, so I didn't like that it was only three dollars but it's just kind of like messy and it didn't do anything for me another product that I didn't like which I've talked about before in a haul video when I got these I was super disappointed these are like the eco tools expert face set or something of these brushes and I was so dang excited to get them you guys and then they came in the mail and I found out they're like fun size like what I have candy bars bigger than that. I don't need candy bars, what? Um, so anyways, they're just like super smaller. I'm trying to make them work um, and find different uses. And because they're so short, like they don't fit in my jars with my other brushes, they have to have their own spot. I was just really disappointed. Maybe I missed it, but I feel like it wasn't really clear that it was a travel set and not the full thing because I was really excited to get it. The last thing that I was disappointed with, it's a miss product for me, was the L'Oreal Paris One Sweep Sculpting blush duo that has a blush and a bronzer Now I bought this on clearance so I'm not that upset about it I didn't pay much for it um, but it seems like a gorgeous concept right I love the packaging it's clear you get the blush and the bronzer and the bronzer appears to be completely matte so I was really excited and then you open it and see the colors it even has like a little brush in the bottom which is weird shaped like this I think you're supposed to run it on either one and then like fault let it follow the hollow of your cheekbone but there is like zero color payoff. Like Y'all can see how much I've worked that product, like scratched it with my finger and rubbed it, and you cannot see anything. So I'll show you these two fingers that are clean. Rubbing. And the blush is pretty pigmented, but the bronzer, you get nothing. I mean, nothing. Yeah, that's its color payoff from fingers to hand. It's on the top. You can barely just see the blush. That's it. You can run your finger a million times on that bronzer, Oh, it's like so makes me so mad like, you can't see anything. I don't even know how I don't know did anybody ever purchase this? I just wanted this to be awesome, and I was so sad that it was terrible. So yeah Boo on that. So oh, I kind of ended on an angry note. I just really hated that brush and bronzer um, Okay, so that is my complete set of products that I was just disappointed by that weren't hits for me. Comment below though guys, let me know, do you guys love any of those products? Like, did you have success with them? Because it's all opinion. Different face, different chemical makeup in your skin. Like everything is completely different for every person so you could very well love what I didn't like. So let me know if you also didn't like anything or if you did like anything that I showed. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe right there so that, or right there, I never know where the button is. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a video and thank you guys a million for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!